Hey everyone, and welcome back to another revenue report for the month of May. I can't believe how quickly these months are going at the moment. This year has just gone so quickly and I swear it was January 1st yesterday. And I can't believe I've already been monetized for around six months. So I've already done several revenue reports this year. And if you're new to this series and this YouTube channel, hi, my name is Kaylee and I'm a beauty photographer and a travel content creator based near Sydney, Australia. And each month I go through a revenue report for my YouTube channel because I I like to shed a little bit of light for other creators out there who are looking at hopefully getting their channels monetized at some point. And I really like being transparent in terms of how well my videos are doing and especially when it comes to revenue because I think that it's very eye-opening at times. And I kind of wish before my channels had been monetized that I had seen more of this to get more of an insight into the possibilities and the potential earning ability. As a lot of us already know, YouTube can be a very rocky roller coaster when it comes to revenue. And last month when I was going through through my April revenue report, I mentioned that April is usually not a fun time for me during the year when it comes to YouTube revenue. Now, this is based off my other YouTube channel that I have as a photographer. It's my photography and retouching channel. And just based off that over the last 10 years or so, I've always found April to be a really bad month for revenue. I don't really know what it is. I think sometimes because Easter is usually in that month and we do tend to have school holidays over here in Australia. And I'm assuming there's a holiday season elsewhere around the world too, around that time. I think there's probably a lot more people maybe not watching YouTube as much during that time frame. And I do think that advertisers tend to spend less in April specifically for videos. So I do think that April tends to be a really bad dip of a month for me when it comes to revenue. And I did have a really big dip in my revenue uh, going back to my April report. So last month's report was not too pretty. Now moving into this month, which is for the month of May, I can say that it wasn't as bad as April. I wouldn't say it's a lot better than April, but it's definitely better than. And it has gone up just a little bit. And look, that could also be because there was more days in May technically than there was in April. There's an extra day. So that always comes into it when it comes to revenue. But I do think slightly we've kind of bumped it up a little bit. And I'm hoping that trend is going to continue because April was definitely not pretty. So now we're going to get straight into the May analytics for last month. And I'm going to go through which videos did better in terms of revenue, which days of the month earned the most revenue, and overall just my general revenue details. So let's get straight into it. So I'm currently in my analytics for May and as I mentioned, it was an improvement overall on April. So I guess that's one good thing to come out of this revenue report. Having said that, it still isn't where my revenue was towards the beginning of the year, which is a bit of a shame, but kind of expected at the same time. Let me explain. So first off, let's go straight to the analytics for May. And going through some of the basic statistics. So my views were at about 31.8K for the entire month. And that was pretty much doing as usual. So pretty similarly to previous months. My watch time was a little bit down. So 11% less than the previous month which is interesting actually, because that usually does play a part in your YouTube revenue. And the fact that I've had less watch time than April, but I've had more revenue is again, an interesting point. And I will go through that in just a second. So I had 1.9K hours of watch time in the month, and that was 11% less than the previous month. My subscribers were down a little bit, about by 10% last month. And my estimated revenue overall was $312.29. So if you watched my previous revenue report from April, you will know that it was in the twos. I think it was about $270. So it's a little bit more than last month. I'll just go in and quickly check that for April. It was $278. So we're basically looking at between about $30 and $40 difference there. So not a huge amount, but still considerably a little bit more than the previous month, which for a small channel, you do tend to notice that a little bit more. Obviously, if you're a much larger channel, you're not going to really be looking at specifics of $30 or anything like that. But for me, being a smaller creator at this point, I feel like that's a substantial jump in the right direction. Now, as I mentioned, it was probably going to be a little bit more in May because they were 31 days and there are only 30 days in April. So just having that extra day allows you to get that little bit more money, which is good. But overall, I'm quite interested in the fact that although I had less watch time, I was earning more revenue. Now, as I mentioned before, watch time can really be a deciding factor as to how much revenue you're earning from YouTube, but obviously it is dependent on other factors as well. So one thing I like to do in these revenue reports is go to my CPM for the month, which is your cost per mile. And this is really to do with how much advertisers are paying to put ads on your YouTube channel and on your videos. So let's go and check that out now. 
Now my CPM is roughly about double the RPM, which is listed here for the month of May. And for the month of May, it was about $9.82, and that's revenue per every thousand views. Now your RPM is essentially your cut of the money that advertisers are paying. So like I said, roughly it is about double, and then that's what your CPM figure is. So my CPM definitely would have been hanging around about the 18, 19, $20 mark roughly. So seeing $9.82 here, let's go and quickly check how much April's RPM was. And there you go, it was $8.92. So I was essentially earning a little bit more revenue with my RPM rate for last month in May compared to April. So that's probably why I've earned a little bit more in terms of revenue. So going back to May here, I also like to see which days did the best and worst. So the most that I earned in a day in May was $17.58 on the 26th. And the least I earned in the month of May was on the 31st of May, and that was $6.21. Now, in terms of the videos and the performance of the videos and which ones perform better for revenue, I still have one prominent video that is doing well, which is I posted a reel on Instagram every day for six months. Here's what happened. Now I've talked about this video before. It started doing really well at the end of last year when I posted it and it has done pretty well ever since. However, as I said in previous revenue reports, I am expecting this video to drop off at some point completely and that revenue will no longer be there. Uh, it could be a short time. It could be a long time. It's really hard to predict with YouTube but I know that eventually it will not last forever. Having said that, I think that I'm starting to see more videos, which is a good thing, and I've spoken about this too, more videos underneath that seem to be increasing a little bit more with the amount that they're earning for the month. So the next best video was Instagram is changing and it's good news for smaller creators. And that was earning roughly about $19. And how much YouTube paid me in April was my next best video and just a couple of others that have been doing pretty well on search. So it's really good to keep track of these videos and see which ones are doing better for my revenue. So I can really take that into consideration in future. You can absolutely tailor your content to potentially getting more revenue from those particular videos. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of my other revenue reports, but this particular video here, I actually did as an experiment to see my CPM rate and what I could actually get from this particular video. I actually watched another video where a particular creator was saying that she created a Wix tutorial on a website and it actually ended up giving her a really high CPM rate because Wix were actually buying those ads and they saw that space as a lot more valuable for them to purchase those ads. So she was getting a really, really high CPM rate, very, very inflated. So I thought maybe I can do something different with another brand and I've really liked the look of bio sites by Squarespace which is for creating a link in bio. And I thought that I would do a tutorial on that not only because it's interesting and people would probably find it helpful but also because I wanted to test out and see whether that CPM rate could be risen on something like this in a similar way to that Wix video that I was talking about before. So if I quickly click on that, you can actually see when I go into my revenue that the CPM rate, or my revenue per every 1K views is sitting currently at about $14.80 because it has fluctuated, but my CPM rate for the video is $42.80. That is just an average. If I go to see more, you'll see that I've had days where it's $197. That has been the CPM rate. So obviously I've had lower days as well. It's been a really interesting video, this one. I've had very, very big highs and very, very big lows when it's come to CPM. So I thought that, that was a really interesting thing that I could add into this video as well. If you'd like me to do another video where I talk about that a little bit more in depth, I might actually film something like that because I think that that could be really interesting to creators who are not really sure how to increase their CPM rates or whether that can even be done. So I think that this is a really good example of it actually working and it has worked in the sense that I am earning a lot more from that video than I am from a lot of my other videos. But in terms of the next revenue report, I'd really like to see some of these other videos continue doing well. Um, some videos in search would be nice. I've been trying to do a little bit more search friendly content because I know that, that can help with really getting consistent income from those types of videos. And I'd like to see them making up a larger portion of this because really at the moment, my revenue is essentially half uh, that top video, that one singular top video there that's doing well is earning half of my revenue. So I really wanna change that and make it a little bit more spread across a lot of my videos instead because 
It's very risky to rely on only one video to provide most of your YouTube revenue, especially if that video is search friendly and it drops off search or it just stops garnering attention, it stops being recommended by YouTube and that can happen so quickly. But overall, I'm pretty happy with my efforts for May and I'm just trying to stay consistent, experimenting with my content at the moment, seeing what works. And that's all I can really do at this point. I think that I would love to hear more of what you guys want to see on my channel. And I would love to get more requests together so I can really continue experimenting with that content. But if you'd like me to do more revenue reports, definitely let me know because I find that this sort of stuff is interesting usually as a small creator. But let me know if you think it's interesting and maybe I can do more of this type of content in future. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, make sure you do because I'll be posting a lot more of these videos in future. Let me know down in the comments section if you really enjoy seeing these revenue reports, if you want to see more of them, if you want me to go further in depth with anything, and especially when it comes to analytics, because I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts and opinions. But thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.